that there's a lot of opportunity in front of us now in agriculture in the region, both dry land and irrigated agriculture and the whole supply chain, but we might not be very well geared up to recognise those opportunities and take advantage of them. The thing about that operating environment is it's not going to stand still for us while we tinker with it. It's changing quickly all around us at a local, regional, national and international level. That's all impacting on people right on the ground who are trying to farm. I think we're trying to make the footprint fit the water. I think we should make the water fit the footprint. The biggest thing is it's water. Security of water is, is that's what's, that's what's uh, abled, abled a lot, all of our regional cities, i.e. Ichuko, Shepherd and Mildura, to develop that economic power that they are now. Now you take that away, these places cease to exist. How do we line ourselves up as a region and in organisations and in institutions and in private businesses around a common vision for what our best future might be? It's the flow and effect from that one megalitre of water turns into probably potentially a couple thousand dollars worth of return which is then gets spent in the local community and then it snowballs from there. Now if you take that away you're going to have a lot of ghost towns and cities. I mean there's a level of commitment in this group that shows that this is not going to be another committee. It's going to be something that sticks and I think it'll have some policy impacts too. There's been many of these workshops, many of these scenario planning exercises, when do they ever eventuate into something that's real action? But there's people in the room that can make things happen. We're below the choke and there is no prospect of rationing of supply here. It is a call to arms and it is now time for this region to take its step forward and actually drive its own destiny.